up, what's happening? It's your man OG Bo Beats TV. Coming to you today, another special video with Jules Hack YouTube. It's your man OG Bo Beats. And I'm back with another video for you today. So today I come to give you a week 22 update of the year 2023 on how I'm doing on my Apple challenge on Robin Hood. Um, if you've been following me, you already know the challenge. But if not, we're going to get into that. I'm explaining the challenge. I'm going to give you some updated information that you're going to need to know for this upcoming week about Apple. And, uh, you know, just give, give some, uh, some, some guidance and some talk in general, man. So please make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and then let's get right into it. All right, so boom, check it out. It is week 22 of 2023, and I'm currently holding, we're going to get right into it. I'm currently holding 29.5 uh, shares of Apple. All right, I got an average cost of 152.10, uh, and the current cost of Apple is 175.50. All right, so I got 29 shares with an average cost of 152. Current price is 175.50. All right, my total market value, mean all of that put together is 51.74, and then my total profit, I'm up 15% uh, for $689. So how did I do this? Some of you may be asking. We're going to get right into it for those of you that don't know. Back in 2022, I started the $5 a day challenge where I said I was going to invest at least $5 a day in Apple. How I do it is basically I put a, a one amount weekly into my my robin hood account and buy that by the seven days so when i first started with five dollars a day i was doing 35 dollars a week all right halfway through january 2022 i said i'm gonna go up to seven dollars um and it was 49 dollars a week did that right mission accomplished for the whole year kept it going in 2023 i said i'm gonna go to ten dollars uh which was seven seventy dollars a week and now i just went up to twelve dollars a day which is $84 a week. So I just want you to know, um, you know, it's not as hard as some of you may think. Uh, we spend money every day on, on coffee, Starbucks, fast food, all type of stuff like that that we don't need. All I'm doing is understanding that I have that extra money to spend, to put in it, to invest, that is, put it in the stock market and sit back and watch my, my profits grow. All right, so that's basically what i'm doing you know what i'm saying i got this idea from some of the people i watch on youtube where i get a lot of investing advice and information and tips from and that being larry jones all right so if you don't know him go check out his page he's dope real dope with investing also i watch keenan grace uh, another dope person with the stocks and the options and just information and then stock mo and stock up stocks with josh i've been watching them too uh because of the other two guys so it's all good you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm doing um, I may go up to 15 at some point in the year. We just got to see how it's going. But uh, I mean, it is what it is, man. So this upcoming week, the big news is over the weekend, government basically came to a deal on the, uh, the debt ceiling. So tentatively, right, they still got to do the paperwork and all that. So that halted all of the, you know, the talks because it had to like June 1st, possibly, even though I heard that date was wrong. Um, so nothing's going to shut down. Everybody going to keep getting paid, supposedly, right? We'll see. But tomorrow, that should have a very big effect on the stock market. All right. So, you know, be, be looking out for some dope options, but we just got to see how the market reacts. I'm going to definitely be looking to do some call options, probably on the spot, but we'll see. That's just one of my favorite things. If not, I may do Apple because check this out. The Worldwide uh, Development Conference, I think that's the name, Developers Conference, is coming up next week also. And Apple is set to announce, even though we already all kind of know about it, but basically the, uh, the, the virtual reality headset that they got. So they're going to be competing with, you know, uh, Meta and Facebook, whoever make Oculus and all of that. So that's going to be some big news. They're going to announce the dates and, you know, probably get some updates and some pictures and all of that. So that should boost the stock knowing that that's coming. Like I said, Apple is a great company to invest in. I've been doing this solid investment with Apple for a year and a half. And as you can see, it's working out pretty good. All right. Let me just remind everybody that this is not financial advice. Um, and I'm not giving you any advice to buy, hold, or sell, especially Apple. Uh, do what you got to do. This is just for me to show you what I'm doing. And if you do want to follow along, then that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Holler at your boy. Make sure you leave a comment down below. 
Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to touch bases, man. Week 22 coming up. You know what I'm saying? Get ready for your call options. Um, holla at your boy, man. You see how my, how my journey is going with this. Um, so if I can do it, you can do it. All right. It's your man, OG Bo Beats. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. I'm out. Peace.